This multidisciplinary competition combined elements of every sport which Karina grew up loving. By grade 7, she was already a medal-winning national swimmer. But her search continued for a different challenge of strength, perseverance, technical ability and cardio. Once she found her niche, competition at elite level Karina. took her from Europe to the Americas. I uh, came a bit late and now I don't want to do this anymore. That looked amazing. <laughs> <laughs> You're not late. <laughs> You're a juggernaut in the fitness industry. When did you decide that this was the path you were going to be going down in your life? Well, I've always loved sport um, my whole life. I was a sport fanatic and um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to study after school. And then I decided to just stick with what I love and that was being active and dealing with people. And then I got into personal training. And one thing led to another and I started doing OCR racing. And now I'm uh, incorporating personal training with obstacle course racing. So obstacle course racing is an uh, outdoor sport. It's mainly trail running and then you get obstacles along your route. There are obviously different distances for different fitness levels and the longer the distance, the more challenging your obstacles also become. You get obstacles that you have to climb over, like walls, nets, you have to crawl through mud sometimes, you have to crawl under barbed wire, they can give you heavy carries from oil drums to water cans and uh, what makes it fun is that you never really know what to expect until you get there on the day. Originally from KZN, Karina moved to Joburg 15 years ago. She's balanced her personal training career with international OCR competition. The trifecta in Spain must have been a very tricky one to do. Very hard. Um, I was crazy enough to do a trifecta which entailed all three the distances you get over one weekend. But yeah, it was just amazing to push myself that far mentally and physically. Now, Karina's found that CrossFit is another sport in which she's ideally equipped to compete. I feel like tough cookies are an understatement when it comes to you. <laughs> but with 15 years of personal training under your belt, I'm feeling like I'm in some safe hands here to try uh, CrossFit. Yes, you're in the right place. I'm going to introduce you to my coach, Shane. Hey, Shane, yes. how are you doing, sir? Nice to meet you. She has such an extensive background in the fitness industry. What is it that makes her unique from the other athletes that I'm sure you've trained? With the amount of, of experience that she's had, she's developed traits and qualities that are unique to a very small percentage of, of athletes worldwide. Um, a mental capacity to handle pressure and to work well under pressure, discipline when it comes to her training. Those type of traits set the few percentage of athletes like Karina around the world apart from the rest of us mere mortals at the end of the day. <laughs> CrossFit has become such a popular way of staying in shape. Why do you think it's become such a phenomenon? The end goal is to get people fitter in a safe environment and have fun getting fit at the end of the day. And I think that in itself, that, that ethos is what's driven CrossFit forward, not only in the gym environment, but on the competition floor as well. Recently, I did my first CrossFit competition and I managed to play second, which totally exceeded my expectations. My aim was just to get top five. So I was really super happy with that result and um, it was a wonderful experience. Well, I think it's time I face my fears. What are we gonna be doing with this very long rope? I want you to reach up as high as you can. Got it. You're gonna hook your foot around. Your okay. Oh, you're left footed. Or oh, I'm right footed. Right. Okay, that's fine. So you're gonna grab the rope between the two feet and press out with your legs. Nice. Again, same thing, repeat. Good job. Nice. Ha! Nice. <laughs> okay. Good job. Thank you. Yes. I'm doing two. I'm doing quite well. Doing quite well. What's next? Next up, now that we've tortured the rope climb, I'm going to have the two of you guys doing a team format workout. Shane coaches Karina for three hours, three times a week. And after 15 years as a personal trainer, she still finds much to learn. What is it that made you go towards CrossFit, having had such an extensive kind of background with OCR? I was introduced to CrossFit by competing in a team. And since I've done the first event, the bug got hold of me and I just couldn't stop. 
15 years in the personal training world and a large share of that being involved in OCR. Have you completely stepped away from that? I luckily got the opportunity to actually coach some obstacle course racing athletes and I actually enjoy the fact that the focus is moving on to the athletes and away from myself. So um, now I can coach them and prep them for their competitions as well as beginners, you know, teach them from scratch. So it's thoroughly enjoyable. Well, I'm standing here, my heart is going at 200 k's per hour. Is this the end of our day or do you have something up your sleeve? Well, we might have your heart racing at 200 k's per hour, but now we're actually going to do the 200 k's per hour on a bike. A fan of superbike champion Valentino Rossi, Karina's involvement with motorsport began with husband Jeremy Reingold and fellow bikers like Jason Vessels. Jason, I'm an amateur at this and these monsters look very intimidating. What are the key things I need to know to make sure I make it back here alive? Look, uh, that's the nice thing about the racetrack is it's a safe environment. Everyone's going the same way. Basically just adhere to the rules and ride within your limits and um, not too hard on the brakes, not too much on the gas and slowly build yourself up. Jeremy, how did you get into superbikes? As a youngster, I always enjoyed the bikes, although it was frowned on by my, my family. However, I can really say that my first car was a motorbike and they've been with me through various stages of my life. Okay, that makes perfect sense, but how did both of you get into superbikes together? It's not my only passion. Karina, of course, being one of them. And I introduced Karina to, I, at, at that stage, I owned a, a particular superbike, which Karina rode on a Sunday. And by the very next week, the bug had bitten her and uh, she had ordered her own. I guess my love of motorbike riding comes from my dad because I went out with him on his bike when I was about six or seven. And that's the first memory I have of being on a bike. And it was just an unbelievable sense of freedom I had. When we got back to the house after this wonderful ride, we actually landed up in our rose garden because he somehow lost his balance. But luckily it happened there, not on the road. But despite that, I just have a wonderful experience with bikes. When she's not out on her bike with Jeremy, she visits her mother, former teacher, Mrs. Rena Marx, back home in KZN. Mama Bear. Karina is just such a warm person and the way you describe her, it's almost like you're describing your little girl. But when did you realize that she was going to become so successful? When Tobeling found her. <laughs> Clearly, top billing is where you make it. It took a while. You know, the people at the CrossFit event there in Port Petersburg, they make a big fuss of her, but I thought it was, oh, a small town, you know, and they know that she's doing well. I never realised that she was really doing so well. You like, as the older brother, you, there's always that kind of idea that you look after your younger sister and you have her back. But Karina seems like a very capable young woman. There's a better chance of her actually helping me out, yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's done so much, having competed and having won. What are the things that inspire you about it? It's a tenacity. You know, uh, she would set a goal and she would go for that goal. Like she did with the, with the OCR. I didn't expect something like that to happen in her life and it happened and she just went out all out. A lot of people use the excuse of not having the facilities to go out and actually exercise. They're stuck at home. What are your top tips for people who say that? There are so many exercises you can do without equipment and um, I would encourage people to go and Google or look on Instagram. There are many, many amazing hashtags to follow. Um, I do it myself <laughs> um, when I look for new ideas and um, you can literally just go walk around the block or get a friend and go walk with them or run with them. No excuses. From here, the goal is to get to the CrossFit Games, and once she makes it, we expect a podium finish.